week's episode, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you all have asked me. Now, I've received a ton since week one, so I'm not going to be able to get to all of them, but I will be highlighting a few that I think are really important to all of you on your smooth jazz journey. All right, our first question comes in from David. Hi, Dave. I've been playing this weird genre of music called jazz. I think it was ripped off from smooth jazz. Yeah, me too. For a few years, improvising over standards such as Just Friends and There Will Never Be Another You. Never heard of them. And also transcribing Dexter Gordon and Sonny Stitt. Okay. Um, your videos have shown me that I was going down a bad path in life. I've, I've, absolutely. However, I feel that my past habits have had a huge... Wow, this is rambling on way too long. Smooth jazz is about limited vocabulary and short, uninspiring solos. The only thing long about the chosen one is his hair, his checking account balance, and the lineup of wannabe hack jazz musicians sipping on haterade sitting in their mom's basement trolling smooth jazz videos on the internet. Hey Dave, I started playing the baritone saxophone a few years ago, but I have now seen the error of my ways. Is there any way for a sinner like me to walk the path of the chosen one or am I too far gone? Thanks. Hey Patrick, that's a great question. I think first off you need to do a penance. Uh, about six G major pentatonic scales will work. Why six? Well, there's six letters in the chosen one's name. Next, you're going to have to assume the proper appearance. You're going to have to grow out that hair, get a sweet perm so everybody knows you're serious about this art form. Finally, and this is most important, you need to do a pilgrimage to the chosen one's holy land to put more money in his pocket by buying overpriced garbage. Now this next one's not really a question, but it does show the ignorance and lack of sophistication in today's society. Sadly, this is a common problem. Smooth jazz is a refined art form that takes an IQ higher than your shoe size to grasp. You can't just make up a stage name and play boring music to make it in this business. Oh wait, yes you can! The last question comes in from Alex. He asks, do we play in the key of G in honor of the chosen one? Alex, let me tell you a little story. A long time ago, in an era we all know as BK, musicians roamed the world in a tonal labyrinth until one day there was born neither man nor God, but a legend, the chosen one. On this day, June 5th, 1956, the world was given the gift of smooth that we all continue to enjoy each and every day. It taught us about life, love, and happiness. It is, of course, the key of G. I hope this has helped answer some of those pressing questions I know you all had for me. Thank you for those who did send in questions, and if I didn't get to yours, just ask yourself this, what would the chosen one do?